Hi, welcome to the market alert uh, for Wednesday, the 6th of March 2019. So, yesterday the pound uh, testing, but again, look at the volume. We've got a, a declining volume here. This market's just being moved up and down on any news item surrounding uh, Brexit. So, not doing a lot. It is looking weaker. If you uh, step back and have a look, you've got a bit of a downtrend here because you've got all of these uh, lower highs. So, the pound's struggling to stay. Uh, aloft at the moment uh, purely and simply because uh, of uh, waiting for news to move this market higher plus Carney was speaking uh, yesterday watch the 200 bar moving average and also if you uh, mark up from this low to this high watch the 76 percent retracement area 130 a very important area for the pound as it uh, uh, could possibly move down to this level so keep an eye on this as well so yesterday's uh, activity, uh, the market up, uh, went to a range of 50 pips, then back down, retraced, and then moved sharply lower when Carney spoke, and then uh, retraced 76%, and then moved back 76% from here to here. Now, you can see that, don't even need to mark it up, you can see these retracements where the market trades to and then overnight the market just uh, fairly quiet and uh, sideways there uh, economic news today nothing they're all uh, medium impact news items so let's have a look at uh, the Dow for yesterday let's have a look at the daily chart so uh, we can see that we had the selling on uh, Monday Tuesday what a quiet day Tuesday was I uh, haven't seen this since we had uh, the US holiday President's Day uh, a couple of weeks ago when uh, it was a similar range uh, so very quiet uh, for uh, the Dow yesterday and you can see this here we had a, a sell signal market retraced back up to the 200 bar moving average having closed below it uh, hit a, a resistance it came back 76 percent like I say it's a, a fascinating pattern once you uh, get into this I'll just redo that remove the extend right I always forget that drawing them live you tend uh, to forget that uh, after you have to remove the uh, there we go the extend right so 76 percent retracement there the market gets through the 200 bar moving average comes back through and uh, again here but manages to uh, work its way back and uh, once again from here to here 76 percent uh, retracement and the market uh, stops again we've got uh, double bottom here and then the market back and where does the market go back to well from here to here it goes back to 76 percent on the upside uh, once more as well and then breaks through uh, on this occasion so you've got uh, more or less uh, a triple top here you can see there the three points and then uh, down we go back through the uh, 200 bar moving average with selling come back and have a look but low volume nobody's interested and then uh, down we go and price is uh, moving sideways to lower there which we can see in the daily chart so sitting at the 20 bar average break below this we'll see prices move lower what i would be inclined to do is to uh, go to this low to this high draw in uh, this 76% retracement uh, here but watch the 26,000 level that we spoke about uh, yesterday as well big psychological level for this market and meanwhile in uh, Bitcoin uh, yesterday uh, this uh, moving uh, higher uh, but forming the channel top and bottom of the channel there not done a lot overnight but managed to reverse yesterday off the 76% uh, retracement bounced off this uh, very nicely uh, back to the upside and again what I would be inclined to do is uh, this from this high down to this low is uh, place a 76% retracement on the chart just to see if prices do break out of the uh, uh, sideways move that we see here and if they do they will encounter an issue at uh, this level so there's a, a quick roundup of events uh, slow news week uh, this week which is probably why the markets are fairly quiet and will probably continue to be that way today as well but uh, 
who knows in the world we live in now anything can happen anything can break anything can move uh, the prices so we'll see how things pan out okay that will do it for this one if there is anything else to report i will let you know but otherwise uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one